on times that God has just forgiven us. And you know what? Ephesians 2.10 um, says that we are God's workmanship. We're his masterpiece. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but when I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I don't see a masterpiece. Maybe a Picasso with messed up face. Um, but, but I want you to know that you, I want to be his masterpiece. I want to be that everything God created me to be. And so I go to him and I say, God, do whatever it takes to get things out of my life that don't need to be there. Mold me into the image of your son so that I can be your masterpiece. I don't know. Ah! Holy cow, who are you? I'm God. <laughs> no, yeah, I am. You said the prayer, here I am. That's how it goes. Well, if you're God, then make it snow in here. If I made it snow in here, it'd be kind of yucky, and I really don't want to do that. See, now I know you're not God. Why do you say that? God wouldn't say yucky. Yes, it is. It's a Greek word. Oh. Okay, well, if you're God, what does Lamentations 15 9 say? Lamentations is a really short book, it only has five chapters. Why is it so short? I was tired of lamenting. Okay, so far. If you're God, then who is going to win the Super Bowl this year? You know what? I'm not so much into playing games. Why are you into playing games? You are God. What gave it away? You answered my question with a question. I did? Ha, I did it again. I knew that. Um, so, here we go. Okay, now, wait, hold on. What's this? These are the tools that I'm going to use to make you into my original masterpiece. Okay, all right. Hold on a second. How do you know what to chisel and what to leave? I take out all the things in your life that aren't of me. Kind of like dead weight. Speaking of dead weight, can you chisel right in here and right in here? I don't know, I've done ab workouts, I've ran, I did Pilates for a while. That was weird. But uh, could you just chisel it right in here and get that out of there? All right. Are you going to talk or can I chisel? Talk, chisel, talk. No, no, no. no. Chisel, chisel. Most of my children just like to talk. Not me. Bring on the chisel. All right. Here we go. You have a lot of anger. You have some pride. You compare yourself to others instead of me. You're lazy. But you pretend to be busy. <laughs> you have a problem with lust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do not have a problem with lust. You don't have a problem with lust. No, I can do whatever I want. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. Okay, so hold on. We're doing a great job. Maybe we can take a little time out. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good, but when you look in the mirror, who do you see? I see me. Well, then I need to keep chiseling because ultimately people need to see me. Okay. Wait, hold on. Don't take this the wrong way. But when I start to look more like you, then people get a little uncomfortable. Even the people at church are like, oh, you're holier than thou. You can't do that. What you're doing right now, you'd rather uh, play God in certain areas of your life instead of let me be God over your whole life. That is not what I said. That's Yes, you're right. Okay. Um, you, you know, I'm just saying we did a good job. Let's maybe take a little break, a little time out, and we'll come back to it. What you're doing right now is common. It's called controlling. You want to control things over your life, or can I chisel? Control, chisel, control. No, chisel. All right, here we go. But can we chisel what I want to chisel? That's called control. <sighs> okay, all right. You've been holding on to this for a long time. Are you ready for this? <sighs> yeah. Oh, it, it hurts. It hurts me that it's going to hurt you. Uh, 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 I don't think you understand this pain. Don't talk to me about pain. I know all about pain. I sent my son to die on the cross for sin and for pain. But I also did it for another reason. To give you freedom. Do you know what insanity is? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. And there are things in your life, even back in high school, that you've been doing that aren't that do not work in your life. But you go to those empty wells when you're hurting, when you're angry, whenever you're lonely and tired, but they don't work. 
Okay, I'm just thinking that maybe your thoughts are not my thoughts. But if there was another way, your ways are not my ways. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to talk to you. You know everything that I'm I'm saying. It's I, I don't know. It's just hard to to be good. You can't be good. I've made you good. Be good. What? Nothing. You wouldn't understand. Oh, I got of all the universe wouldn't understand something one of my children has to say. Try it. It's just, God, I've let you down so much. You were never holding me up. I hold you up with my victorious, righteous right hand. Don't you forget that. In this relationship, I hold you up. All right. She's all away. But just remember, even though whatever it looks like on the outside, on the inside, I get up every day and I see a scared little kid. Dresses like an adult, uh, tries to act like an adult, but just can't. So just be prepared for, for what you're going to see. You've listened to too many voices for far too long. Right? That aren't me. You think you're junk. You really, really think you're junk. Listen to me. I don't make junk. What does that say about me? How can I show you my love for you has no boundaries? I don't know. Reach in your back pocket. What? Reach in your back pocket. Why? Are you arguing with me? Reach in your back pocket. Oh, God. Yes? <laughs> uh, I was saying, God, I'll do that right now. <laughs> you were just saying my name today. You know, it's just a name. It's just a saying. It's more than a name. It's more than a saying. It's more than a bad habit. It's the name above all names. I want to teach you something about my name. Reach in your back pocket. You know what that is? It's a journal that I wrote when I was younger. How'd you get this? Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead and read. I love Tara Lamassi. Yeah, I'm just fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I married her. I was there. <laughs> Dear God, today I'm turning everything over to you. I'm not going to hold on to anything anymore. Your word says that you will make me your masterpiece and use me to do great things. I don't see how that's possible, but I want that with all that I am. So please do whatever it takes to make me what you want. I love you, God. I love you too, Dale. I love you too much to leave you where you are. So this salvation you hold, don't let it be some sentimental gush or some head knowledge. I want you to work out every detail of your life. And don't compare yourself to, some, to others, because that's trivial nonsense. You are my original masterpiece, and you are one of my workmanship, and in you I find favor. This, don't, refer, don't look at this as a prison. Look at this as a father disciplining a child, a father disciplining the one he loves. I know, but it's going to be really tough. Yes, it will be tough. But you bought into the lie thinking that everything would be easy when you said yes to me. And that's not how it works. I want, I want to you to be, be something. I want you to look out there, and I want you to say, Dale is God's original masterpiece. Dale is God's? No, not the way you see yourself, or you, the way you fear others see you, but the way I see you. Dale is God's original masterpiece. Yes, you are. And so are you. God doesn't make junk. You're an original masterpiece. No matter what we've done, God still loves us. All the issues in our lives, all the struggles, all the sin, God forgives us if we just ask. So each week we're reminded about that. We come around this table. We have juice and we've got cracker. And we meet, we're called to remember the sacrifice that God sent Jesus on the cross to die for our sins. Luke 22, 19 through 20 says, And he took his bread, took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. So each time we meet, we're supposed to remember the new promises and the new hope that God has given us. And we're reminded each week of this. Please pray with me.